Hello, in this clip I'd like to talk about making a few simple changes to the open source point of sale program. If we have a look at this one first of all, this is a new installation just been done and we can see that some of the text here goes off behind this image. It's all rather crowded here. Where it says store config it clashes with the line there. Some of these images go off of the screen and there's some text down here which we don't really need. No disrespect to the author but that might distract our employee who's supposed to be serving customers and we don't want any distractions. On this installation here, one we called Checker, we did away with the company name up here and we just put a logo but we could still make the company name a bit smaller and use that if we want to. We also made these images a bit smaller and we removed the text from here and just put checker to match the name up the top here. So it's much less clumsy and most of these links are visible on the screen. What we did to achieve that was to change the text size for the company name in this file which is CSS menu bar CSS and if I just go to that for a moment the program folder is on the desktop here if I look in CSS the menu bar if we display that in the text editor we can scroll down and see that where it says company title it's 14 point if we simply change that to 11 or 10 or something that looks right on the screen but is not intrusive then it can give a much better appearance. So we change that, save it, upload the file and then try it and if it doesn't work we can try a different size. That was one change we made. Another change was to reduce the size of the images so they started out as 48 point, sorry, 48 pixels square and they are in the images folder in the menu bar folder there. If we look at this one customers, we look at the properties of that and it's 48 by 48. We opened each one of these in turn uh, in the text uh, graphics editing program we used the GIMP program in Linux for that and we reduced it, we scaled it down to 30 pixels by 30 pixels and it looks like this which is much neater. So that was another simple fix and that's the list of the images that we changed. We did simply copy the whole folder, we dealt with them one at a time then we renamed the folder and copied it back again. At the bottom of the new installation one here we've got this text and we don't really want to display that. To save going into individual files and deleting lots of text and risking making a mistake and stopping the program working, what we can do is go into this file, application views partial footer and remove the text between the div tags. So if I go into that application views partial footer application views partial and footer that one there if we display that in a text editor we can see that there's a division called footer and it's got all this stuff between it and we don't really need any of that so we could take the whole lot out and there's a little full stop there a period as well we can take that out we needn't have anything in there at all, in which case it will just be blank white at the bottom of the screen. But in our one we, we wrote checker and uploaded it. We saved the file, uploaded the file and it just showed checker. Um, if it was a different one, if we wanted to put ospos1 or something, we could do that. And then it will show the name of the program as we called it um, in that particular place. So if I just go back to where I was. This one here with checker 
We did reduce the size of the company name to start with to make it fit more neatly. Then we decided to use the logo instead. We changed the name of that to admin in one of the files instead of store config so it was all on one line and didn't clash with the time and date. We reduced the size of all of these icons from 48 pixels to 30 pixels so they're large enough to see, they're clearly spaced apart and it's much clearer for the operator to use. And we took out that line that was there originally and we just wrote checker in there. We can change the colour of that if we want, but it's the user, <coughs> the till operator, who sees this f um, screen rather than customers, and mostly that bottom part is going to be out of sight anyway. Those were just a few simple changes we made to try to enhance the appearance of this and make it more pleasant for the user. I hope that was useful for somebody. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.